Dear learners, today we are going to study about Fourier transform Raman spectrometer. So, so after watching this video, you will be clear in detail about Fourier transform Raman spectrometer. Now, this is my first question. What is Fourier transforms? Why the name is FT or we can say Fourier transform? So what is Fourier transform? It is a mathematical process. Fourier transform is nothing but a mathematical process which converts time domain spectrum to frequency domain spectrum. Means what? At the end of this, whatever spectrum we are getting, that will be in a time domain spectra. So, Fourier transform is a mathematical process that we have to apply to convert this time domain spectrum to the frequency domain spectrum because we want our spectra as a frequency. And for this process, whatever system is used is known as Michelson interferometer. Now we will see in detail what are the components and how it will work. So, these are the components of Raman spectrometer. We will see. Now this is the special filters. We will see what is the role of the special filters and why it require in the FT Raman. Then this is the dielectric filters. Then here there is a focusing mirror. Then there will be a liquid nitrogen cooled detector. See this system is a Michelson interferometer. In this system we have the moving mirror, the fixed mirror and the beam splitter. Now this is the sample after that we have a lens and after that we have the laser. So which laser we are going to use over here and this laser is with a line filter. So here we have to use the NDYAG means what? It's a neodymium and typically replaces a small fraction of the yttrium ions. In the crystal structure of the YAG means yttrium aluminium garnet. Neodymium with the structure, crystal structure of yttrium aluminium garnet. Now we will see how it will work. So what happened over here? Firstly, what is the first process? The process will start from this laser obviously here. Now first we will see why there is a line filter. This laser is there with a line filter because here what happened whatever light we are passing from the we can say the exciting laser. So that stray light must be eliminated because it can saturate many transducer. That's why with laser we are using a line filter to eliminate the stray light. So what happened first? Firstly, the laser radiation is passes through this lens. After that, from the sample. Now, after that, it will come over here to the moving mirror. But it will pass from the beam splitter. This is the beam splitter. So what happened? So whatever radiation is passing, from the beam splitter. The energy passes through the beam splitter and what happened after that? So here there are two mirrors. One is a moving mirror and other one is a fixed mirror. So what is the role of that? So one mirror which is placed at a 45 degree angle, it will allow the radiation to pass but it will divide the radiation into two perpendicular beams. And from that one is undeflected and other beam is oriented at a 90 degree angle and it will pass through this fixed mirror. So this is the process 
how we are getting the peak at the end so at the end we are getting the peak over here so from the fixed mirror so it will again pass from the beam splitter so ultimately we are getting over here the combined beam the combined beam containing the constructive and destructive beam and the, this beam is known as interferogram or we can say this system is a Michelson interferometer after that this radiation passes from the filters firstly it will pass from the dielectric filter and after that it will come over here to the special kind of filters now what is the role of the special filters and we can say this dielectric filters so what it will do this type of filters remove the stray laser radiation and the Rayleigh scattering here we have to minimize the Rayleigh scatter line because it is a six orders of magnitude greater than the stock shifted Raman lines so we have to minimize the Rayleigh radiation before it passing from the transducer after that it will pass from the focusing mirror and from the focusing mirror it will come to this detector and here we are getting our spectra our detector will detect the spectra now we will see how this ft raman spectrometer looks so this is our ft raman spectrometer this is inside of the ft raman spectrometer so here the all the process will done here this is the probe in the next video we will see the application of raman spectroscopy thank you dear learners for watching this video